their rockets never go straight up. Every single rocket launch from a government space agency, you'll notice, follows a parabolic curve. It goes up, it reaches a peak, but what they do is as the rocket starts coming back down, they make sure that it goes down over the ocean, out of the way of any curious observers. Anyone can see it coming back down to Earth asks, hey, how come the rocket's not going up anymore? Well, it's going around the curvature of the Earth, is what they tell us. So every single rocket, the reason that it follows a parabolic curve, they say, is because it's going around the curvature of the Earth. The, the real reason is they can't get up any higher than that. They tell us that the Earth is a sphere. They show us pictures of a sphere, of a circle. It's a perfect circle. And then they come out and they say, well, it's actually an oblate spheroid. Oh, what's that? Well, it's it's a sphere that's flattened at both poles, so it's more of an oval shape. It actually bulges out south of the equator, as well as being flattened at the poles. So it's more pear-shaped. So it's not actually a sphere. It's an, it's oblate. And officially it's an oblate spheroid. That's what we call it. But not only that, it's slightly wider below the equator than below the equator. A little chubbier. A little chubbier. Yeah. Chubby's a good word. It's like pear-shaped. So now it's pear-shaped. So why are all of these official uh, NASA photos and videos showing perfect spheres when it's actually an oblate spheroid or a pear-shaped spheroid? They can't get their story straight. The reason they keep changing it is that to fit the model, they have to change the shape of the Earth. South of the equator is larger than north of the equator because lines of longitude they just extend outwards. They don't contract back. So <laughs> they concede that in their pair model. They say, well, the sun bulges out south of the equator. It's bigger south of the equator. Yeah, it is, because it's flat. But instead of admitting that, they just you know make tweaks to their model as time goes on. They say that the ball Earth tilts back 23.5 degrees. That's another tweak they made, because we can see Polaris, which is right over the North Pole, from 23.5 degrees south latitude shouldn't be able to see that on a ball. So they just tilt the earth back and then they, okay, now you can see it. And so they come up with explanations in reverse like this, damage control, reverse engineered explanations. 